I've been thinking a lot about Christmas this year, and I wonder how many of you are like me, where you're balancing the supreme gratitude that the year is almost over, and we have this season that we get to focus on peace and joy and love instead of all of the other things we've been focusing on this year, while also being a little bit concerned that maybe this Christmas is going to lose some of the magic of every other Christmas time. If this sounds like you, then maybe you'll find a little bit of inspiration where I did in studying the life of Mary. My name is Callie Reed, and this is my Five Minute Fireside. One of my favorite Christmas paintings is of Mary and baby Jesus, titled Be It Unto Me by Liz Lemon Swindle. Whenever I look at this painting, I can't help but think about the series of wildly unexpected events that led Mary to the moment depicted in this painting. For example, I'm sure Mary never planned on becoming pregnant as an unwed teenager. I bet she hadn't daydreamed of spending her final days of pregnancy riding a donkey through the desert. I'm sure when she thought about having her first baby as a little girl, she never imagined she would have that baby in a stable, alone in an unfamiliar city with only a very young, very inexperienced Joseph as a birthing coach. And yet, as unexpected as her path was, we read in the scriptures that Mary was full of faith. Be It Unto Me, the title of this painting, is taken from the first chapter of Luke when an angel appears to Mary and explains that she has been chosen to carry the Savior of the world. She has been entrusted to raise him as her son. In the scriptures, we read that after a moment of initial shock and a couple of questions, Mary responds to the angel, Be it unto me according to thy word. Can you imagine having that kind of faith? to be able to immediately and completely submit to a plan that was vastly different from anything she had ever imagined for herself, it's incredible to think about. It's especially poignant to me that Mary's son, Jesus Christ, echoed his mother's sentiment in the Garden of Gethsemane 33 years later when he said, not my will, but thine be done. I can only imagine that her faith left that imprint on his. Now, Mary's faith didn't shield her from hardships. It didn't save her from heartache and suffering, just like our faithfulness doesn't preclude us from struggling in this life. I wonder if she ever questioned God's plan, asking something like, I'm doing everything you asked. Can you make this a little bit easier? But while Mary's path was filled with challenges, she found joy and peace in aligning herself with God's will for her life. I want to be more like Mary. Total truth moment, I am not very much like Mary naturally. <laughs> I have a horrible habit of trying to micromanage God in my life. I insist on planning everything out, and then I have a really hard time letting go of my plans to accept literally anything else. I believe in God, absolutely, but I often struggle to trust Him. I find myself looking for ways to avoid pain more often than I find myself looking for His plan. This year, we've all experienced a variety of wildly unexpected events. As we've dealt with the stress of incredible instability, I wonder how many of us have questioned God, as Mary might have. I'm doing everything you've asked me to. Can you make this a little bit easier? I love this quote from C.S. Lewis. Life with God is not immunity from difficulties, but peace in difficulties. As we enter this Christmas season, I think we could all benefit from following Mary's example in spending a moment considering the following question. Am I intentionally aligning myself with God's will for my life? Maybe you're facing health problems, maybe financial or faith crises. Maybe you're struggling with a relationship, issues with your career or education. Maybe you're going through a divorce, or maybe you've lost a loved one. Regardless of what you're facing, we, like Mary, can all find peace in aligning our will with God's. 
even when, and maybe especially when, our lives take unexpected or painful turns. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. As we face the unexpected challenges of this Christmas time, I pray we choose to trust God, that we can know him so deeply that trusting in his goodness comes easily. I pray that we embrace the unplanned hardships that come to us and choose to see them as stepping stones, leading us to God's blessings. Ultimately, I pray that we can seek to know God's will in our lives and have the courage to say to him, as Mary did, be it unto me according to thy word. I've shared with you my favorite Christmas painting of Mary, and now I'm going to sing to you my favorite Christmas song about Mary. This is What Child Is This? What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping, whom angels greet with anthems sweet, while shepherds watch our keeping. Shepherds guard and angels sing. Haste, haste to bring him, Lord, the babe, the son of Mary. So bring him in, sun gold and myrrh, come peasant king. King of kings, salvation brings Let loving hearts enthrone Him This, this is Christ the King Whom shepherds guard and angels sing I'm Callie Reed, and this was my five-minute fireside.